Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Linda from Linda Learns to Color. And um, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Today I have a haul video, an April haul. Although some of the stuff I did order last month and um, I've kind of just been grouping things together. Although some I did order uh, this month as well. So for the month of April, I tried to do a no coloring book buy, but I did get a few. One, I did have a... Um, a uh, a gift card and then yeah so but I wanted to share this bag that I got isn't this just so cute I got it to hold some of my coloring supplies I actually got two bags so in this haul video I'm actually going to have things mixed up um so I'll have coloring books and supplies kind of mixed up because I you know pull them out of my bag and I'll show you the, the bag at the end but I just kind of wanted to show you how how big this bag is I got it from threadless that's how I'm saying it where I guess a lot of um you know you could buy things that from artists into that they made into bags and stuff but I'll sh I'll show you so this is so this bag is so big that I can put a whole box of Prisma colors in in it so I got me another set of Prisma colors not that mine were running low or anything but oh, aren't they so gorgeous but I just sometimes misplace them. And then when I want to color a page that I'm doing a follow along with or a color along, I can't find that one color. And I know I could get a pencil from another one, but I like to use, most of the time I like to use um, what they're using. Plus, um, yeah, I just, I'm glad I got a second set. My other one, my other set is from 2015 or 2016. So I'm really excited. I got this off of Blick. I think it was... 120 so yeah so i got some new prisma colors i'm really excited about that now if i'm missing a color i could just go to the little box there and then i got these did i already show you all these i think i did huh oh, if i did um i can't remember see i'm so bad but I took all the pencils out and they came in this little plastic thing and I'm just going to throw this whole box away and this as well but I just wanted to show you what it came in and I apologize if I already shared that with you but I did want to show you where I am putting them so guess what I got what is guess what this little thing is here it is from Arteza and it's this I would show you the whole setup but it's in my living room and um I have been wanting this for months and months and months, but it's like $73, which I'm sure it's totally worth it. In fact, I might get me another one, but it went on sale for $60. I think I paid $63 altogether. So it's $10 off and I'm so glad I did because I have been looking at other ones that are less expensive, but they don't have the size drawer that I need for like colored pencils or other things. And one of these days I will take you all to my living room and I'll show you what I put in here. It just fits so many things. A lot of my stuff are organized. Like I use one drawer for um, watercolor, um, the water marker, I'm sorry, not water markers, the paint, um, things that you paint with. I can't think of what they are right now. And I've used another drawer for uh, markers. I use another drawer for all my white pencils and, I, and blenders and, um, and, white anything that was white whether it was a gel pen or, or whatever so these are just came in so handy and I also got this I love these things but I put the uh, the pencil the brute front of pencils in here which I don't really recommend I just wanted to um, I didn't want them falling out of this while I was putting them in here in this bag um, yeah because this is kind of small I mean they fit in here but you want to be careful when you're sliding this down like that so they do all fit you just got to be careful and then with the tips because they're all snug but this is not where I normally keep them isn't he just the cutest thing I got a few more of these because I love them so much so I put these pencils sorry for the loud noise I mean that's how it looks on the inside there's actually a few pockets in there but you can't see them I don't really use the separate pockets I mean, comes back up and you can zip it up um but I put it in here because I don't I don't plan on 
taking them out with me. And if I do, I can just grab the colors or put some in here and take them on the go. But it's nice because now I have I can just pull out the drawer and have all my colors. So I actually would like to get another one and put a lot of my budget set pencils in there, like Crayola and other ones that I have. I have Crazy Art and all those. And I have them in little roll-ups right now, but I think I would love to just put them in this because look at how nice this is. So anyway, if you guys have seen or have been wanting to get this, um, I think I might get me another one in a few months from now or a few months or maybe next year. I don't know. but And I think I would pay that the $73 for it. It's so nice. Another thing I wanted to share is if you go thrifting and you find this is a corn holder. <laughs> but you know what? When I'm, it also fits colored pencils and I have like four of these. So if you're, I don't have a whole lot of room to use them all, but I kept one out. And I thought this is great because sometimes I was using my Tombow markers and when I was doing a coloring page, I had Tombow markers, I had some colored pencils out and I had a water brush. That's what I was trying to say earlier. And I just put them all in here so they wouldn't roll off my, my desk. Well, my little table, little TV tray table. So anyway, and they also have snack plates, which I don't have one in here, but those work well as well. As well. So yeah, so save those. If, or if you see them at the thrift store, I mean, I paid... 99 cents and I think it was even there was even a sale that day okay so I got those let's get those out of the way what else is in the bag let's see oh so if it's coloring books this is really not a coloring book this is actually um so I've been doing these in place of my coloring sometimes so I can't all I don't always get to my coloring but these are brain games where you, they're like logic puzzles and you finish them and I've been coloring them to make them look pretty. So if it's, this, this is just like an average size coloring book. So it fits that in there. And what else do we have in this bag? I got this set, um, this coloring book. I'm super excited because I have been wanting to get this, but it's a little bit expensive. So it actually went on sale, Colorfully Optimistic. Um, let us know that there was a sale with, um, what is the name? Well, anyway, I'll tell you in just a second. I think it's in here. Oh, Mystic Mirrors. So I wanted to get the little postcards as kind of like reference for the photos, the illustrations, and the coloring book. And I'll do a full flip through of this on my channel, but here's a quick flip through. I think I got it for 30% off, which was great because the shipping was expensive. So it kind of, to me, like evened out. And this was a book on my wish list. So when I found out that there was a sale going on, I thought I would snag it. Isn't it so cute though? And I'll do a full flip through of this one. Maybe it'll come out next week. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, can't let the address show. So this is a bookmark that I actually got, I think it was last month, from Emily's Coloring Corner. She's on Instagram. And oh, she also has a, um, a YouTube channel, which I will link below. But she sent me this bookmark she colored. Isn't that so sweet of her? So I thought that was really nice. And then... This pretty note card. So I'm glad I caught that before the address showed up. And then what else do we have in here? Okay, I peeped. Okay, so this is the book that I got that I shouldn't have ordered because it's, um, I was doing a no coloring book buy for April. But this came out and then I had a gift card, so I went ahead and ordered it. Oh, yes, and I guess I shouldn't have ordered this one either, huh? I kind of remember when I ordered this one. Terrence and, and Roxy. So I also got this. Do you have the new one? If you, if you do, let me know. Have you colored any pages? Feel free to link anything. But I'm really excited about this one. I will admit I didn't know all the books. I tried 
figuring them out before looking at the table of contents here. So yeah, I got another book for my color collection. And these have been on my wish list. And guess what? They were on sale. I got all three of these for $43. They come with they each come with this little plastic blotting thing page. And they come like this in this Ohuhu box. So I just thought I would open this one to show you how well packaged it is. I haven't even checked them out, so if there's a crack or something, I don't know in this case. But it's so well packaged, I was pretty impressed. Let me see if I can get this out. And then, so if you get this, it comes with the little plastic thing in there and then their brochures and stuff, which I'll just put aside. But don't forget that on this side, it comes with the water brush. So I ended up with three water brushes. And I thought, oh, I could have easily have thrown that away by accident if I didn't see the other side. But look how well packaged this is. Sorry about the squeakiness. So I have been wanting to get this and I got all of these for $43. They're having a sale. Sorry about the glare right there. Aren't they beautiful? And I hear that they're pretty close to um, like Tombow quality. I think the Tombows are, from what I hear on reviews, are still, I guess, number one with these water markers. And I love the holder, because you could also like store them this way. I don't know if this comes out. I've seen some people take it out, but I couldn't tonight want to break it. So I don't plan on using it without this these little holes anyway. But here are the colors. Or this one is the saturated set. It doesn't say on here. So what I did was on the back, I wrote brown hair girl so I know which one it goes to in case I have them all out and I don't want them to get mixed up so the, aren't these gorgeous so these are what I did with water on the back and look at all I didn't um I did all of this with that right there and look at all the how light the color how far out it went isn't that pretty and then these are all the colors I just thought they were gorgeous so that goes to this set. I just thought I would, I was going to, if I could get this out, if it's separated, I was going to put this right here on the inside so I could just look. But since I couldn't get this off, I'm just putting it on top like that. And it closes really nice. And I left one of these uncapped for like an hour and it was still fine. It was an accident, of course. And then this one, and these are really um, sturdy. So if you're using um, colored pencils with these, you could also put your colored pencils and stuff in here while you're using everything. You have like a little case or a little container. And then these are the colors from this one. And these are the mid-tones. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, they're so pretty. So, if you know if these separate right here, let me know. Maybe I'm well, I don't. I don't know if I will we'll take it off anyway. And then this one just came, so I haven't swatched them out. And so I'm thinking these ones look lighter than the others. So I guess these are the like the pastel colors. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave them in there. I guess I could show you they look. Here's that side and the other side. I guess I could have showed you that on the beginning, huh? Okay, so let's put this one back. So yeah, so these were on sale. I just couldn't pass up the sale for $43. I think they're normally $79 or something like that. So I said, well, now's the time to get them. 
bags. So, and they each came with this water brush. I think that's it for this bag, but look how big this bag is. And it's just the cutest thing. It doesn't even all fit. And it's really sturdy. They had a 15% off sale. So that's why I got these. And then I also got this. This Faber Castell Art and Graphic Try It box. This was for $1 plus shipping. So I think I paid $7 altogether. Oh, you know what? I bought me a Derwent battery operated eraser. And I forgot to add that to my stuff. I actually got this one for $10 on Blick. And then I saw one on sale on Amazon, a Hoohoo one for $6. So I ended up with two of them, which I don't mind because I think one I'm going to put in my to-go bags when I'm coloring and out and about. And the other one I'll keep at the house. Oh, you know what? I stuffed other things in here. So on my Blick order, I also ordered two of these. I'm going to put some in my pencil bags because I'm always losing these. But you know what? Now that I have my Arteza container... I actually have a drawer for all my erasers, so I'm really excited about that because I'm always losing things. I don't have that much space. I just have a little corner in the living room, and so I'm constantly losing my stuff. And then, so I got two of these, and these are some erasers that go to another Tombow eraser that I got, which I didn't bring because I forgot to grab that too but it's like a pen and you just put these in there i thought i would try them both to see which ones i like better and these ones are the other pen like one and then i also got this posca from um, blick as well and let's see i got something else from blick but i can't oh did i get those from blick this is reminding me maybe i oh no i got them from amazon Oh, I forgot to bring them. It's like a glitter marker. Um, yeah, I'll have to show you my next haul. But this reminded me because I opened one. And then, so this is what came in the box. I got this sharpener, which I haven't tried yet. And this eraser, which I haven't opened either. And it came with this pencil 2B. And it came with this um, Pit Artist Pen Brush, which I have no idea. I have to go online and see what that it's all about. And, and this one's the Fine Liner. And then it came with this water. Um, I'm going to put these right here. Oh, you know what? As I take them out, I could put them in my little corn dish. So this is a, let's see, you could probably read it before I, because it's a watercolor marker, so I have a hard time with my glasses. And So that is one side. Have you tried these markers? Let me know in the comments, because I'm thinking of saving up for some of them. And then that is the other side. Because this one's the gray, but I would love to have like blues and greens. And then there's also this one pit graphite matte what was the difference between this one? Oh, yeah the color is different and I can't read everything you guys I'm sorry I have to keep taking my glasses on and off to read and then this is let's see is that the only round one yep so this is polychromos and the could probably read the color right there or maybe not oh light cadmium yellow 105 I think it says and then these let's see the, these are the water these two are the watercolor ones I believe and another polychromos and what is this one another watercolor and is that a polychromos? Yeah. And then it also came with 
some paper. This one's black and this one says, I guess this one's water paper. And then it came with this booklet. So yeah, I thought that was neat. I'm gonna just dump all that back in there and put all these, and at least I know where these are now, I to put them away. So I was really excited to get my Derwent um, electric eraser because I have been wanting one for a long time. So let's put all that back in. Okay, so we are almost done, but I did get another bag. I also bought this bag. Isn't that just gorgeous? I can't even show the whole thing. I bought this like backpack bag. So it kind of, I'm sorry, I can't, it kind of cinches up here. And let me show you some goodies that I put in here. Just, I'm just putting stuff in here so I could show you how much it fits. I was like shocked. Okay, so I got this from Blick. The heating tools when I do some watercolors or um, I'm starting to get back into my card making. And I actually have one of these from Stampin' Up, but it's packed, unfortunately. So I don't know when I'll see it again. I'm so sad. I have a lot of fun stamping stuff, but it's all packed away. So I got that. And these have been on my wish list. I wanted to get the, I think there's like a, what is this one? Oh, a, a 100 or 121, but these seem hard to come by. And Lori at Color My World really likes these. Let's see, I'm going to probably eventually take them out of this box and put them somewhere else because I don't like them in here. But aren't those gorgeous? Be careful there, and I swatched them. So these are all the colors. And I haven't used used them. I did some swatching and I did a little bit of coloring in something on my coloring books. Um, but they, they are really nice. Aren't they pretty? So I got these. Let me see if I could put them back in without dropping them. So yeah, I don't like the container. See, it's kind of hard to get them all back in. So, and I still didn't put those in right, but I'll do that later. I think they, I don't know what I did, but I'll deal with that later. So do you have these? Colleen pencils? If so, let me know and let me know what you think of them. And then I also got, let's see, what is this? Oh, I got another thing. I saw Joanna Basford use these in one of her coloring books. These Bambino crayons. And I'm just going to toss this because they've already fallen out once when I took it out of my coloring bag. But I do have this little bag here. And so I have them all in here. They're so tiny. Thankfully nothing broke when they fell. But they are just like that size. Aren't they just so cute? And they, I've used them, uh, some of them, in one of my coloring books. I need to put all the coloring books that I color in somewhere so I could, I was supposed to bring them to show you, but yeah, I'm not sure what coloring book I colored in it. Oh, it, maybe it was the Joanna Basford coloring book. So anyway, that's this. It's going to be so nice one day just to have one area where I have everything. But, well, for now, I'm just going to have to make do and probably I'll keep forgetting things that I wanted to bring and share with you all. Okay, so this next one I got, okay, so I got another coloring book. Oh, wait, this one's my swatch. I got a swatch catalog from... Um, coloring bliss which I've been wanting to try this for a while I'm just gonna move this bag because it's kind of in the way so I decided I I'm part of what in one of her like you know where you pay five dollars a month um, so I decided to buy one of her swatching books as whenever I watch her videos I love her swatching books and this one I got it's a watercolor paper 
So I'm really excited about that. And I paid a little bit extra to get the, the blotting page, which it has some extra information on it. And then it's the Bliss Watercolor Paper, 90 pound. Um, it's cold press, high quality, acid free. And I'll just let you read all that if you want to pause it. But it feels so nice. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to start swatching my watercolor pencils on here. I have um, watercolor paper that I was starting to swatch. But then I lost the book that I was using. I had already put my Derwent ink tents in there. And I had done my, um, my Karen Dash watercolor pencils in there and months ago when my husband was working in the living room I had to pack everything up move it around and I have not seen that watercolor and paper pad since and then I bought me another one to start over I don't know what's going on with me but I cannot find that one either so I don't think I'm going to be losing this especially it has this nice spiral right here spiral bound it has 30, 60 swatch pages, 30 pages. Um, I paid for extra pages, so I don't know if that, I don't know how many pages I have right now. I paid for extra, um, but it says 1,800 swatches and it's, each of them were 60. They had one, you could put 120, you kind of customize it to how you want, but I, I don't, I don't have all my pencils out and stuff to go through and see how many I have on 120, one, how many I have with 72 colors and so forth. So I just went with the 60 and I thought it'd be nice anyway because these are a good size. And if it's a 120, then I'll just take up more than one page or I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm really glad I got this. This is beautiful. I think it was $30, 30 plus dollars. It depends on what paper you get. The watercolor paper was a little bit extra. And then from Coloring Bliss, I have had on my wish list for a while now, this coloring book. And I thought, this is mixed media paper I got. Isn't they cute? I'll do a whole flip through of this one. And this one's about the artist. And so this is the Mixed Media Bliss Paper, which is 100 pound. And it's pretty thick and kind of smooth. And I thought I could use alcohol markers in here or, um, I'm not sure, but I was thinking like alcohol markers. And then I also added but it wasn't too much to add some swatching sheets in the back, which um, I thought I would figure out what kind of pencils or medium I want to use in this book. Then I thought I would swatch them back here. And I don't know how many pages I added. I don't know if it was like a, like a pack of pages for a certain amount or if I added a certain, I don't know. But yeah, you could do all kinds of things. You could add pages. Oh, and I added this this right here. I think this is like 25 or 50 cents more to add this in. So yeah, so I was really excited about this. It's my first Bliss coloring book. I could close it. And I'll do a flip through of this one, but it's so cute. And I can't find the front. Oh, here it is. So yeah, this is the Fairy Tale Bliss, volume one. I need to, I didn't see a volume two, or did I? I'll have to go back because there is one more coloring book that I would like to get, but I need to wait till next month to get it. And then I thought I would do, buy another swatching book, but I'll do it with mixed a mi mixed media swatch book or something like that. I'm not sure. I got to sit down and, and see what I want to do. And this one, I also paid to have this cardboard in the back. And then lastly, oh, and here's how the that backpack thingy looks. And it has like a zipper right here inside. So yeah, I just thought this was so neat to go with my coloring. 
And my friend, she actually does all this art. And I love her art. And so I wanted to have some of the um, art. Oh, you know what? I'm missing. Um, I forgot to show you this. And there's, I actually have a third one somewhere. Let's see. These bags, you could get them in different sizes. And so I got three. I got this one. Isn't that so beautiful? I probably should have got smaller bags. They are kind of big. Like this one has my Artezas. And then I put some I put some of these um, fine liners in there. So when I work on some of my my logic my brain games books that I bought. So that's one. And then just to kind of show you how the size. I put my iPad, if I can get it out now. There, it's got that. So, so your iPad fits in there. Well, mine does. Although I have a, I don't think I would keep it in there, but that's where it's for now. So yeah, these are really nice sizes and they really are sturdy. They have really good quality. I was kind of, you know, I don't, normally buy from those um like there's threadless and i know there's so like society or something like that where you could buy these kind of things and then i also got from amazon i got some more of these which are these things i really like these they're so cute they're inexpensive i think i paid eight dollars eight ninety nine seven ninety nine this one was actually on clearance for four ninety nine and i like that you could put your pencils in here and then it just you know when you want to take them with you and then you could just push that down and you have your pencils with you and then you just put it back up and take them take them home and put them away or keep them in here but aren't they just the cutest thing so cute and then oh look it here's my ohuhu one this one worked really well i used them both and I kind of like this one, though, because it comes with this little brush. Not that you need the little brush, but it has all these extras. My Derwent came with some extras, but these are a lot. So I guess I should put this back in here. Well, this is what I was wanting to show you that I thought I forgot. See, I was organized. I had thrown them all in my little pouches, so I would have them. But I did forget the coloring book that I used the sparkle in. Aren't these so neat? So these are Spectrum Noir Sparkle. And I have, I only have two in here because I have one in the living room. That's where I do my coloring. And if I could get this out. So they look come like this. You got to shake them and you got to take this ring off. You take this apart. It took me a little while to figure it out. And I'm still not sure. <laughs> I mean, I did the other one, but it, I, yeah, I had to go on YouTube and look. And if I remember, I'll I open another one, because I'll probably have two open at the same time. Maybe I'll do that on mine so you all could see. And then on, this is my little, and I like that these bags, they're on both sides, the, the um, picture. You know, some of them, you only get it on one side. And they're really sturdy. So this is plastic right here. So yeah, now I could put all this stuff away. And last but not least is, again, uh, Corey at Colorfully Optimistic um, was telling us that um, the this artist was having a sale. Is it Rena Arts? I'm not sure. It's Coloring Books 2020 on Etsy. And it was, this is my super set. It was 70% off. So aren't these gorgeous? It'll probably be a long time before I actually paint something like this. I mean, paint color, something like this. But for 70% off, I think, oh, I should have wrote how much I paid for it. I don't know. So these are the names right here. This is Rose Hips, Sweet, and Unicorn. And I just put them on paper. I printed them out like this just so I have them and I don't forget about them. So this one's a mermaid, knight, and robot.
That way I could put these in a binder. Aren't these gorgeous? So this is um, bindweed, angel, clover. So they also, um, she also sells these individually and in smaller bundles. But I bought the super set and that was this one. And then I also bought the super set four. This one was one and this is four. I didn't get them all, I just got the ones that I think I would color. And then again, these are the names if you wanna buy them single. Look at Little Unicorn. Coco, that one looks really, I would like to do that one. And Royal, Royal Crystal, I think that one says. Sorry for my awful penmanship. And this one is Pumpkin. And then Cake and Princess Icicle. I think at first I was printing them like this and I realized I could put four on a page. Or three, I'm sorry. The reason why it's three is because I think that's how many came in a download. So there were like, you get three different um, grayscales each. So you get three, three, and three. I think that's how it went. And then this one I bought, this one came in its own um, download because it was just one. This wasn't another set, but I didn't want the other ones. I just thought, I just wanted the little witch. I thought she was so cute. Look at that. I'm going to have to find a color along for that one. So yeah, so that's how these, so like this whole set, you got all of these and then this one came in one download with 369 and then this one came in a download. So all this was in one set, if I'm remembering correctly, which was Super Set 1. And then again, all of these came in a set. This one had this cute little pumpkin one in it. And then these two girls. So all this came in one. And then this goes by itself. And this one was Super Set 4. I don't know if the sale is still going on. That's why it's going to be nice when I have my community tab. I could share things like that. Speaking of community tab, um, I'm all, I'm just barely over 400 subscribers. I'm almost there to get that community tab. And I will have a giveaway once I do get there. So once it appears. So yeah, so that's what I have for you today. All my fun goodies. And so I guess I'll end it there. Remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.